Hi, I'm Dan Henderson with Olympus Controls, and today I'm working with the SIC OD Precision Laser Distance Sensor. The SIC philosophy on distance sensing is from microns to miles, meaning that we really cover that full spectrum of sensors, from sensors that go down to a repeatability of 0.06 microns, up to sensors that go clear up to a sensing range of about a thousand meters. Today we're working on the low end of that spectrum with a sensor that has a distance uh, range of about 25 millimeters and a repeatability of 0.06 microns. Within the OD Precision family, we go up to 500 millimeter sensing range and a repeatability of 30 microns. So what I'd like to do today is just talk with you about some of the features and benefits of the sensor We'll go through a demo that utilizes the sensor and the controller together and we can actually add three sensors at the same time to the same controller. And then we'll also go through a demo, demo operating the sensor in standalone mode without the controller, just talking to a computer via an RS-422 interface. So just to go through some of the features and benefits of the sensor, Again, this is a very high accuracy distance sensor with a repeatability of 0.06 microns. We have the ability to select different sensor heads with different light spot geometries to do different types of surface averaging. We also have the ability to measure distances for many different types of materials with this sensor. We have the ability to do many different applications through the controller configuration. We can also do glass thickness measurement with just one sensor head. As I mentioned previously, we're going to go through a demo of utilizing the sensor uh, with the controller and we can actually connect three different sensor heads to the same controller. We can also operate the sensor in standalone mode without a controller altogether, talking straight to a computer via an RS-422 interface. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the operation of the OD Precision Sensor with the SIC controller. And we'll go ahead and power this unit up right now. And as you can see, the sensor automatically turns on as indicated by the laser line uh, on my card that I'm detecting here and also as indicated by these two LEDs on top of the unit. So right off the bat you can see we're taking a measurement on the only sensor head that's connected to this controller and then we're also doing a calculation and this calculation happens to be just the sum of these three sensor heads. So we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the basic settings here and um, you can see there's a lot of different settings that you can get into on this sensor uh, or on this controller rather. In fact there's about 12 or 13 pages of different um, settings that you can go through to get your to get your application working just perfectly. And uh, one of the basic settings that I can show you here is just the measurement setting we can switch between a, a surface measurement and a glass thickness measurement and uh, the glass thickness measurement is of course what you would use if you're measuring a piece of glass with a single sensor. One of the other things I'd like to show you is uh, the operation of the sensor and we can change this to light distribution mode and this is a great tool to use for troubleshooting in case you're getting uh, measurements that are falling not where you expect them to be. So I'd also like to show you uh, there's an RS-232 connector on the controller and you can connect you can connect the controller to a PC you can configure it uh, through a variety of methods one of the uh, ways that we suggest configuring the controller is through the SIC proprietary software called SOPUS so we'll go ahead and take a look at the sensor in standalone mode now which is something that's really great to utilize for an OEM application if uh, you need to save cost, you can cut out the controller entirely and just connect up straight to an RS-422 device. Now in this case what I've got is a breakout board which is coming from my uh, sensor leads here. 
That breakout board is going into an RS-422 to RS-232 converter. Then I'm actually going to an RS-232 to USB converter. And then I'm sending that USB into my computer. So back at the PC, I can use a terminal program to talk with the sensor. And I can uh, go ahead and do all the commands that I was doing back at the controller with the sensor. And I can do things like turn the laser off, turn the laser back on. I can request a measurement from the sensor. I can uh, set up the sensor to measure continuously. And I can set all the same parameters that I was setting at the controller as well. Now you'll notice that all the information that's being spit out here is in hex, so you'll have to take that data and you'll have to convert it over into uh, numerical data you can do that through a program like Excel. Thanks for joining me, and I hope this has given you a good basic foundation for operating the SICK OD Precision Laser Distance Sensor. If you have any applications you'd like to discuss with us, please give us a call at 1-800-236-0607.